Hey guys, and welcome to an Escape from Tarkov video talking about map guides. Now, what we're going to be taking a look at over these next few videos is going to be things talking about loot, talking about how people move through maps, and then also just talking about some callouts that me and my teammates use. Uh, this is specifically aimed at newer players, but those who are also looking to get into group play that have been playing solos, things like that. But without further ado, let's jump into the interchange video. So to start off this video, let's talk about some points of interest for the map interchange. Now with interchange, the main focus is going to be getting into the mall. Mainly a lot of the fights are going to take place on the first floor, but you will see some of the fights take place between the upper levels and the lower floor just kind of depending on where you're at. So up top here, we have the first floor of the interchange map. It's going to be the top level of the map. Now, there's a lot of different points where people get into fight, whether it's at octagons, or whether it's down on the first floor, right in the middle where Kiba's at, or at the stores. The points of interest are these main stores because there's a lot of quests Tasks that take place on interchange itself. Now, people tend to go loot these offices over on the side of Idea or these offices in Ali. This back area, this store called Goshen, is a really hot spot due to the fact that one of the Kibaki spawns there. So, the Kibaki can either be obtained through two different ways. You can either get it from a trade with therapist or you can find it on the map now the kiba key sells for a lot but it also unlocks the store kiba the store kiba needs two keys in order to open it first door being a giant metal door and then the second one being a metal grating door the other key is obtained through a quest line later on in the game So moving on to pathing for PMCs off the spawn. Now, the main thing is that interchange is kind of set up almost in a rectangle form. So we're going to start down over here near Northwest Extract. With Northwest Extract, people usually tend to run straight into IDEA or they'll move down the road towards these other PMCs. These PMCs will either tend to move towards the middle over here and meet up with these PMCs, or they'll push into Ali, the front of it. Over to the bottom left corner, we have PMCs that spawn over near this outside factory building, um, as we'll call it. They either do one of two things. Move up this ramp into Idea, move into the back of Goshen, and then into the map. Sometimes people will run down to meet up with these PMCs, but at the beginning of Wipe, it seems more or less than not straight into the map, try to get whatever loot they can out. Taking a look over at Southeast Extract, we'll have another PMC spawn point. Now, once again, they have three options of where they can move. They can move towards the PMCs that are located up or towards this part of the map. They can move up the ramp into the back of Ali, or they'll move into the back of Goshen, since this ramp has two different ramps that you can go up. Now, once you get inside, it's kind of a free game. A lot of people move based off of sounds, I want to wrap up this interchange video by talking about the loot spawns for interchange. So the points of interest are obviously going to be the Ali, the Goshan, and Idea stores. In those stores, you'll find plenty of cash registers, and as long as you have the keys to open up the cash registers, you will have no problem as far as getting a whole bunch of cash out of those. Over in Idea, you do have spawns for cat statues, lions, things of that nature. Over in Ali, you can also have a whole bunch of uh, parts for quests that you need. So like propane tanks, tubes, 
gas analyzers, along with these back offices, which contain computers and other quest items. In the Goshan store, in the middle back left, there is a campsite. In that campsite, there is one of the Kiba keys located there. So with us talking about the Kiba key, let's talk about the Kiba store. The Kiba store itself is a armory. So there's guns inside there, different weapon parts. You can also find things like helmets and armor every once in a while. There's a couple of crates to loot in there as well. Talking about other stores that we have up near the top floor, the back right corner here on the map where you can see me pointing out right now, there is tech light. Tech light is a whole bunch of different technology parts. So you have graphics cards, you'll have uh, Geiger meter counters, gas analyzers, things that can be very valuable. The stores throughout the entire map do have different loot in them like that, including a med bay, which is over near the idea side. Now this med bay is called MES. You need the MES key in order to get in to this med bay. Now inside the med bay, you can find things like morphine injectors, sloweas, a whole bunch of different meds like I talked about already. The main point of interest is going to be this middle part of the map. In the middle of part of the map, you can sometimes find the scab boss for the map known as Killa roaming around. He wears a, what I like to call, kind of a mini fort, um, if you will. It is a set of 6B armor. It's level 5. He also carries an RPK with him, and he is surrounded by guards. The guards will tend to have trooper armor on them, or they will have Antar as alongside with helmets as well. So you'll find things like Alton helmet, 6Bs, things of that nature. Killa himself also has a helmet on him, which we pretty much just call the Killa helmet, is what I like to refer to it as. But that's as far as loot goes for interchange. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. We also do stream on Twitch every single day from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. EST. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video.